Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Tim back again with Brand Vision Marketing. Hope you all like my new glasses and my brewer shirt going to the show. Anyway, keep this real quick for you. I'm making this video here to show you how to make awesome looking case studies that will instantly win you guys over customers and make you seen as an authority in your industry I'm talking a really easy way a cool template and an easy way to boost your Google rankings too. A little a little secret tip that I learned that I noticed is working really well so and I'm gonna also show you a couple really cool ways to use case study to like literally build trust like that and seriously win over customers like crazy so stay tuned this is a good video Anyway, what you see right here actually is one of the case studies that uh, we made for a customer called CGW Abrasives Camel. Um, basically, they're uh, a abrasives vendor, um, not only national, but they're international. They're worldwide. Okay, they're a big company. And so we decided to do a case study on them. And actually, from now on, we do a case study on everyone just because, I mean, it's just you might as well do it when you get through the video you'll understand here and I'm gonna keep it in short and sweet as possible but just to take a quick look look how cool this looks okay so little mock-up here and uh, I'll give you a uh, a link for a free trial of, of where I uh, created this so you guys can mess around there's a free design studio free uh, email marketing uh, app builder designer all kinds of stuff I'll give you a free trial to that so you can play around and no you don't need a credit card you just mess around with it for a week you want to keep it cool if not whatever but anyway that's where I made this on builder off um, so cool little mock-up took me a couple minutes um, and I suppose everyone does these uh, case studies a, a little bit different uh, obviously because some people are selling a product some people are selling a service so the way it's structured I notice is is different with a lot of people us being that we're in the business of website design what we want to do um, and this is a perfect template for that what we want to do is show what we did for a customer and showcase that um, you know to future customers so basically it's uh, it's it looks like this I mean breakdown you do a really cool headline of uh, uh, one of the ways that you were able to uh, or what you were able to do for them a short company bio which is a few sentences an overview of the case study which is basically you know an overview of the project objectives or goals okay that's the next section a little image here um, and then the summary is basically uh, how you what you implemented what was the solution okay and, and you can see the, these aren't super long I mean it takes a little thought to put it together but I can look these up super quick now and and then you do the results and look how cool this looks seriously uh, and then also you want to show like I always like to put like a graph or some kind of figures in here in this particular case we were able to help them increase their sales by 42 percent in six months in 12 months 63 percent and we actually helped them which is a big increase their average order size um, through card checkout 28 percent which was good and then one of the big things, one of the main things on there is the testimonial, okay? And I'm going to go through all this step-by-step, step, break everything down, exactly what you need to do. And then at the end, um, I'll, I got a little, uh, not a chart, but a, uh, I don't know, a template outline, I should say. Yeah, I'm having a brain fart. Anyway, I have an outline uh, to make this super, super easy. And if you want, you can, I'll even give you a copy of this template. You can use this template right here. So basically that's all it is, you know, testimonial at the bottom, your graph chart, results at the end, your summary, your objectives, the overview, and the company bio. Okay, now, that being said, moving along, so this is what I'm actually going to show you um, in this video, basically how to write a killer case study, okay, and how to not make it take a week. I mean, this you whip this out in an hour, okay, um, basically number one determine the objective in the format that you're gonna write your case study and choose your candidate obviously you gotta reach out to them then to uh, get an okay um, and this is a biggie that's why it's highlighted make sure you're asking the right questions 
uh, layouts your case study in outline format. Um, Self-explanatory. Um, I don't know. I like to use, I'm a little bit old-fashioned because um, I'm on the computer all day, but I, stuff like this, uh, I like to, uh, I got index cards all over the place. So I like to use index cards. For me, that helps me keep stuff organized. But anyway, and then just publish and promote your case study. And like I said, I'm going to show you some really cool things that you could do as far as promotions go. Um, not even a promotion. I mean, just to, it's out there like getting you customers and stuff you, probably, you didn't even think of. So just stay put. Don't go nowhere. So number one, what is the objective of the case study? Okay, so that's pretty, you know, you got to figure out what it is that you, and again, I'm a web, we're a website design company, so it's a little different than a company that's selling uh, women's boots or whatever, but at any rate, it could be focused on a lot of different things. Um, well, what you did for that, like you lowered that business's cost, you helped them become more profitable, um, you helped them generate more leads, you helped them on closing more customers, um, generating more overall revenue, um, or even breaking into a new market with a new product and more often than not it's going to be a combination of a few of these anyways so um that's number one is the objective um and and then of course you got to determine the format and you see this highlighted i'll get to that but a cool way to do it is uh, a video case study is actually really cool obviously we all know that um you know video marketing is huge okay it, it's a cool way to do it um also too like when people would send an email a PDF file is good too, but um, and an infographic is is okay too. But you know what? Nothing is as good as doing it this way. And I used to do the PDF files, and I would attach them to like an email. But now what I do, and this is basically the whole. Uh, this is a one of the tips that I can give you. That's an awesome tip. Okay, I found a little something out. Um, and I didn't even know it because I never used them uh, for a builder. Um, I mean, Google, obviously, you know, they got their own little builder, but actually it's not bad. I mean, I would never build a uh, full website or anything like that with it. But you know what? For two things. For number one, if you don't know how to build a website or you're new at that and you're trying to whip something together real quick, man, it's so, so easy to navigate. Like a two-year-old could put together a website, okay? and what makes it it's perfect for putting these little case studies together and you see like how that that turned out like i mean just i mean look look at it i mean basically this this, this looks awesome and it's so easy to put it together i mean super super easy so what i prefer is the web page link okay and i'm going to get to that of a couple ways to use this well obviously it's good content on your website um, makes you look like an authority in your industry it makes you look like uh, obviously you're serious about doing business you're serious about customer service you're a reputable company there's so many benefits um, I believe I even listed the benefits in here but I'm trying to make this quick here because I know attention spans are not very long and neither is mine but you don't want to miss what's at the end um, choosing a case study candidate okay so here's the thing when you do business with a company it might be a company that has 10 people or a thousand people but <clears throat> when you're choosing to do a, a case study with them now you want to try to find someone that has the most uh, some pull around there some influence okay someone that maybe uh, Possibly someone else has heard their name or heard of them. Okay, so the more influence, the better. Number two, choose a candidate who has actually had some success with the, your products or services. So preferably they know about them or they've actually used your products or experienced the benefits that your services bring. Okay, <clears throat> if it's a product case study. Like I said, choose someone who likes or uses the product. If it's service-based, someone who knows and loves your service. Also, this person, and this is not like, I bear, I've i never gotten to know on this yet. If they're willing to do the case study and fill out the questionnaire and all that, 
which is real simple. Most of them are willing to give a testimonial. They don't even have to write it down. They can dictate it for you. <coughs> as long as it's a legit testimonial, that has to be a legit testimonial, which it shouldn't be no problem if they're, they're doing a case study with you. And I rarely, rarely, I, I can't even remember the last time like I picked someone out and someone said, no, I'm not going to do that for you. I, I, you know, whatever. If they're happy with you, if they're happy with your company, your products or services, <clears throat> they're going to be more than happy to do a case study and a testimonial for you. You know what I mean? I mean, what goes around comes around. It's it's all about scratching each other's back, man. That that person works for a company too, and he knows that somewhere along the line, someone's helped them out. And if he asks someone to do a case study to help his business out, I'm sure he, you know, they know they would appreciate it too if someone did that for them. So most people have no problem doing that. I remember what I said in the bit in the beginning. Asking the right questions is a big one okay you don't ask the right questions you're not gonna have the data that you need on your uh, your case study um, it doesn't have to be a, a big long essay or anything okay it can be short simple sweet to the point matter of fact in my opinion it's better that way because attention spans are are you know shorter these days so the shorter the better man but you're gonna have to put some good information in there so <coughs> excuse me so you're going to want to know, I mean, what are their goals? What challenges or issues were they experiencing prior to you purchasing or using your service? What made your product or service stand out against the competition? What did the decision process look like? How did you benefit from the product or service? And this is a big one too. If they have it to give, I'll be fine with it usually, but you should get supporting data whenever possible, like a graph, a chart, like a, a, a sales template, whatever it may be. I mean, you can also make that up on your own if you have numbers, but <clears throat> doesn't hurt to ask. At least that's what I know. You know what I mean? Doesn't hurt to ask. And really, this is the most important thing. And I went over this in the beginning, too, with the uh, actually going through the <clears throat> actual uh, example of the case study that I showed you. But really, the the bread and butter, this is the meat and potatoes of your case study, if you will, what you need to have in it, in my opinion. <clears throat> and again, you know, there are some industries that are different. Um, and, uh, you know, when you look at different industries and different services, case studies, they're set up a lot different, or not a lot different, but a lot of them are definitely different. And for what we do for website design, industrial marketing and whatnot, <clears throat> this is the best formula. Um, you need the catchy headline to sum up the user all experience overall as a whole, okay? You need that short company bio. Should be no more than three to five sentences. Case study overview should really be uh, one to two paragraphs at most, okay? Then your objectives or goals. Um, basically, it's pretty much similar to the... Uh, um, to the overview, but it's got more detail with a bit more detail. Oh, look at I made a spelling error. Okay. Anyway, but really what I do on this one here is I like to um, do it in like outline format with, uh, dang, what do they call these bullet points? Jeez, man, I'm losing it. As soon as I turned 45, it was like, whoa. Uh, but anyway, and then uh, the, the summary is basically uh, how those goals were accomplished. And then, of course, the results. That's, you know, what, how it was before and what you brought to the table after you implemented your solution. Okay. And again, biggie here, get supporting data whenever you can because you're going to need it. But again, as long as you got accurate numbers and you're asking the right questions, and it's just as easy to go and Google and make a little chart or a graph on your own. That shouldn't be a problem. So this is the part that I was telling you you want to listen to closely. Okay, all this stuff uh, I've got to outline for you to make this super easy for you. Um, all you got to do is click a link, go get it. It's free. Okay, but the benefits of of doing these customer case studies and there's a lot more than this, but in my opinion these are the main ones. Okay, <clears throat> makes your company look solid. Okay, more reputable organization establishes you as an industry authority figure it shows you're like i said before serious about doing business and 
you're serious about customer service and how you treat your customers and it's darn good content to put online it helps your rankings and here's a little tip like I said I'm not sure if I really went into this much but one day when I was playing around with this uh, a while back when I when I started doing case studies um, now I do them on we do them on like every project now but we didn't start doing this until as of about six or seven months ago okay so I was looking for one solid template to use and I just couldn't find it because every one was different okay you can't find like a specific website one everyone has their own little template so it's kind of like this whatever industry you're in you got to know the information that you need okay which should be kind of self-explanatory you, you know your business better than anyone and then you put it together and structure it but it's what I found out is just by chance okay I found out I forgot what I was looking up but anyway I was looking something up and I noticed the company had two sites um, and one of the sites that they did on their own was a hundred thousand times better than the little Google site they whipped up yet that site was on the third page okay and their Google site I forgot the name of this company but their Google site was like in the middle to the bottom of the first page okay and then I started thinking I'm like you know what it is it's like this Google is gonna they're rewarding you they want you to use their builder so they give you a little bit more juice for using their builder so I figured this you know if you got sites out there it, you don't need to make a whole new website although you could you could make another website and, and you know just out link it to your other site um, or just do a case study and then just throw some links in there and boom that links back to your site it it gets you a, a good ranking obviously not overnight but they do it does help I've noticed it um big time so this is huge and I bet you I guarantee you this is something that not a lot of people know about because I kind of just stumbled upon this and this is a big one seriously and like I said go into that Google site builder just go into your Google suite and uh, you know when you create a new document new Excel sheet new site it's so easy to, to navigate it's like like literally like a two-year-old could do it I mean I don't feel stupid if you have problems with it but no um seriously uh, on another note man I feel like revenge of the nerds with these glasses I'm not used to wearing them they keep falling off I keep picking them up like a dork but anyway um like I said another thing that I've noticed big time big big time cuz what we do here a lot of our business comes from referrals comes from like um people calling in hey you did a site for so and so um <clears throat> I was thinking about doing this and then it goes from there but obviously just like in sales I mean you can't get complacent otherwise you know you fall to the you know you you, you miss the bus if you get complacent so you no know, we always got people that send out the cold call emails okay and I'm telling you what man I noticed it big time okay I personally noticed that cold call emails convert way better when you got a link to a case study you even mention it okay people hear or see case study it, it, it's like instant trust is built okay cold call emails convert way better even on uh, like Facebook and personally I don't take this the wrong way but like what I noticed on Facebook okay a lot especially for maybe when you're paying for ads it's a little bit different but I'll tell you what the price per lead has definitely went up but for like the stuff you get organically you're just messing around in groups or whatever man those people it's like they all want something for free like I can never get anywhere with them people man but like as soon as I started doing this like as soon as we started do, ha, doing case studies and, and even mentioning that like you've got a guy on the fence like he wants to try something then he finds out it's not free because we have uh, Midwest industrial so they sell product we sell products industrial supplies through there so it's like they want something for free and you won't do it then they're not interested anymore but then it's like hey you know give me a shot you, you tell them hey will you give me a shot I won't let you down um, at, at least let me do this give me your email I promise I won't spam you all I want to do is send you a, a, a case study here 
Um, I, I just want you to take a look at it. If you don't like what you see, you'll never hear from me or my company again, but at least allow me to send you the case study. You've got to see what's in there. And nine times out of 10, they, they give me the email. They, they trust my sincerity when I say, but I always throw that in. Don't worry, I'm not going to spam you. They trust that and they and they roll with it. And I'm not saying I we get orders off that all the time, but at least we got the foot in the door. We got the email and maybe the order don't come today or tomorrow, but it will come down the road. Maybe you got to chip away a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And actually, this kind of brings me to the end here, just wrapping up here. Um, don't forget your free gifts here. I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully, you got something out of this. And I promise if you start using case studies um, and start using that, uh, use the Google uh, Site Builder to uh, to do them. It'll really it'll boost your ratings. You'll notice it. Um, and, uh, yeah, super easy. Throw a link in your emails. And speaking of emails, that's actually um, one of the gifts. Don't forget your free gifts there'll be a link at the bottom um, my top 35 best highest converting cold call emails there's emails in here for like uh, uh, video marketing um, website design uh, all kinds of different scenarios these are like the 35 best ones word for word that I use that we use that my team uses and I'm passing along to you for free because I, I want you to be successful okay that's the bottom line man I feel like I was blessed it took me a while to catch on to this man but uh, you know long behold it happened no I mean I can't even tell you where I was seven years ago I was struggling man I couldn't do nothing online <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't get an email to save my life but um as far as that goes man uh, built it into a, uh, another successful business so um, but yeah I want you to have these for free uh, you got the link to the uh, builder all seven day trial I, I got that here in a second and then also another there'll be a link to this here to the free case study creator guide because I know I kind of breeze through this quick because I didn't really want to make this an hour-long video um, but this pretty much outlines everything in a real you know so you got it for yourself so you can refer to it and uh, and go from there with all the resources and links and everything for you. So, again, thanks for watching. Here's the link to the builder all um, free trial. It's one week, no credit card required. Don't worry, keep your credit card in your back pocket. You get to try the whole suite and all of the marketing tools. As a matter of fact, I'm hoping that you still got one minute here because I want to show you just a couple of these tools here. Um, and actually there's tons of stuff here well that'll be in there but let me actually go to it so yeah I'm gonna to link to it in just a second just to show you the page that it takes you to but real quick this is what you get to play around with for a whole week here and if you decide to keep it after a week great if not um, you know more power to you but either way what you get you're probably paying a lot more than 29 bucks a month for because you get three different website builders a blog builder you can build unlimited websites um, sales funnels websites blogs capture pages landing pages uh, opt-ins um, you can uh, you, you got unlimited email marketing built-in autoresponder you got the design studio uh, to create mock-ups uh, info products which I showed you the mock-up that I did you can create e-courses um, there's an app builder there's two different video creators yes two different video creators um, a presentations builder kind of like you know this here um, lead capture tools Facebook integration apps like uh, there's like a chat uh, bot uh, there's an auto post thing um, kind of like a, a buffer would be but it's like or a buffer what's that called yeah it is called buffer isn't it like you can set up auto post for Facebook there's SEO tools on there um, you can like check your site to make sure it's optimized I mean you know what there's even a uh, professional copywriting uh, app on there so you can like uh, create like a script uh, for anything like a, 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 a video script a, uh, a, a long sale long form sales letter script I mean yeah there's a professional copywriting app in there and that's like something probably a lot of people don't really talk about or notice but I get a lot of use out of that um, I mean and then there's just like tons of training videos all over the place they got great support and all things I mean they're just working on so much stuff they just added webinars and all this stuff like honestly no lie I was paying like 360 I actually got a, a landing page about this I was paying like 367 a month for all this stuff 
And then when I did this, 29 bucks a month for all the tools here and more. I mean, it's crazy. So uh, there's no way you're going to be able to get everything in a week. It's just, you're just barely going to be able to scratch the surface. But at least you're going to see, like, all the stuff you got to work with. I mean, I've had it for, like, probably like close to two years I've been at Builder All, and I still don't know everything. I'm still learning stuff. Excuse me. There's no possible way to get everything. But, I mean, hey, for, for that kind of price, whatever. But, anyway, let me just go, uh, link to this real quick. Um, this is the page that it'll take you to when you click that seven day trial link. Um, and basically, all you're going to do is it is secure. It just takes a minute for the SS. Oh, that's another thing you get with the, the builders you get free SSL certificates. Uh, and this just okay. yeah, I mean, so basically, this is like your right here start seven days. All you do is click this button. You get no risk, no credit card, and you can try all this stuff. You can just kind of read it here. Just the link is there. Look for yourself. But hey, I really appreciate you watching. Thanks for your support. I'm gonna try to hit hit up some more videos here. I know I've been kind of slacking on that. Um, but I really hope you got something out of this video, and I, I do appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.